Okay. So welcome to yet another course or training by Samuel Ivanda. And uh, this training is intended to help you to see how you can use your passion. You can use what you love. You can use what you what uh, sparks your soul to actually generate some money, okay? So that's why I'm calling it passion to profit. By passion to profit, I mean, all of us have that one thing that we love doing. And this could be as simple as singing. This could be as simple as, um, let's say writing. This could be as simple as cooking. This could be as simple as, let's say, even maybe uh, you, somebody who is so much uh, passionate about, let's say yoga, or maybe workouts and so on, or even fashion. There are many things that uh, we find passion uh, in, and we want to see how can we actually now turn our passions into actually an income. Now, um, why passion? Now, I want you to think about most of the people that we really look up to in terms of people that have been successful in life are people who actually followed something they love, okay? Now, one of the things that uh, happens is that uh, because of the nature of our education and because of, um, because of how the circumstances in which we grew through, we find ourselves in circumstances where we have no option but to follow a given line that either was guided by our parents or to follow a line that was actually available. I'll give you an example. Myself, I actually pursued to become an accountant because I was given this course on government, okay? And I couldn't afford to pay maybe for private university. So I decided to go and pursue this course. And at the end of the day, I became an accountant. Now, if you'd ask me, is accounting your passion? Of course, I will try to be a bit reserved, okay? Yes, of course, over, over time, I try to develop passion for my profession. But if you ask me that this is, would this be the thing that you want to do for maybe uh, when you hit your 50s? This is, is this something that you feel you would not want even to retire along your life? I think I'll, I'll definitely tell you no, okay? Because ideally, it is something that I just pursued for matters of, let's say, for a living and for to be able to uh, get a skill, get a job, and at the end of the day, find myself employed and earn a living. But I have other things that spark my soul. I have other things that I have interest in or passion in that I believe that I can do and over and over time, and I would not even have any worry about, let's say, retirement in doing such things. And for me, one of, the, one of those things is just speaking and empowering others. The work that I do through the, these trainings in terms of my coaching, in terms of, um, let's say, the events that I, I organize, the courses I teach, this is what sparks my soul. This is what makes me feel fulfilled and i want to tell you that every training that i handle even if it's let's say for let's say two or three hours after i'm done with this training i feel personally fulfilled i just feel happy even when i do it for free and those that um, have followed me you know that i do more free events than just even the paid events why is because that is where my passion is and that ignites me. It's something that I can do even when no one actually pays me. But the, the very, very important aspect and one thing that I've also appreciated about passion is that you can actually turn your passion, that that you love to do into actually an income generating source, okay? Something that can bring you an income at the end of the day just as it is your passion, just as you love doing it. There are other people that may not have similar passions and may be willing to actually give you a cent so that you either train them or they, they're able to benefit from your passion, okay? They're able to reap from the fruits of your passion. So, and that is what this 
program is to help you. Now, my passion may not really be your passion, but as we continue through the program, you'll be able to reflect and think about what is that that makes you happy? What is that that you can even, uh, let's say, forego your sleep just to basically do without no one pushing you? What is that that if you are going to do it, let's say on a Monday, Monday wouldn't really be uh, a kind of a day to get worried that I'm going back to work, okay? Now, one of the things that uh, has, of course, one of the, the things that is also, you also may also need to also know is that some people have actually found passion in their work. Basically the work they are doing on, let's say from Monday to Friday is actually their passion. And this could be maybe they're employed and they're actually in, your, in their passion. Maybe somebody is, let's say, maybe a trainer can be a trainer who is employed in an organization that is into training. Or somebody can be, let's say, passionate about cooking and they're actually employed in, let's say, a hotel or, let's say, a catering company, whatever it is. So you can also have that line. But in the same way, you're not just being employed. You can also transform that passion into a personal business, okay? Into a personal source of income rather than being employed. And that is why we're seeing that even as we continuously go into the phase of reinvention and so on, we are seeing more people resigning from their jobs to actually follow their passion, okay? There are many stories that are outside there. And for you, this could be, once you learn more about passion, this could actually be, let's say your retirement, a kind of job, something that you would love to do after you're done with all this kind of work, or is something that you would love to just do alongside your work as you keep on studying to see what exactly comes. So passion is very rich. And just imagine you doing something that you love and others are actually paying, uh, let's say, pay, they are paying you for doing what you love, okay? Yeah, so that is why we are here. And I hope that gives you a good background of uh, why this subject. So um, we are here basically to, to see how we can use our passion or talent to increase your income, but as well as also to uh, we want to identify our passions and see how can we use them to actually earn an extra income, okay? So you could be still wondering and, and asking yourself, what is passion? When somebody speaks about passion, what is passion? Now, I want you to make a reflection, okay? And uh, if you have a pen and paper, it, it makes more sense for you to make this re reflection, okay? And I'll ask you about what is that that motivates you, okay? What is that that you feel you love and you have a strong desire for it, okay? And you feel other people have actually given you feedback that you actually extraordinary about it. I'll give you an example, even as we, before we proceed. Me starting the coaching work that I do, the empowering, the trainings that I do, I actually realized this after some time when and I started hearing people, people comment, people who were comment about the work that I was doing, okay? Uh, when I was trying to, let's say, inspire others, when I was trying to speak up to other people, I started getting feedback that Samuel, you really inspired me. Samuel, you really uh, helped me in this direction. I would not be here if it was not for your intervention. So for me, I was able to get that kind of feedback, but also myself, I also continuously found love in doing this over and over time. And for me, from that time, I didn't stop. I just kept on with the same pursuit of making sure that every day I'm trying to see how can I continuously serve through my passion. And in the end of the day, the passion has paid off. I can now be able to transform my passion into an income. So what is that? So passion is what motivates us to do the things that we love, okay? That inner feeling, okay? It's that strong desire that allows you to create something that is extraordinary. Inner desire, it basically starts from inside, okay? It's, it's your soul. It's a communication with your soul, something that lights up your soul, okay? And then uh, this also, it's basically, you may call it a fuel that keeps your fire burning in terms of, it keeps you excited. Have you ever found somebody who is, let's say, who is running a marathon and you think about yourself and like, 
the last time I ran, I only ran for a few kilometers and I really felt tired. So you ask yourself, what motivates this person to keep going? Now, of course, we have motivation, we have passion, but at the end of the day, this person loves what they are doing, despite the pain that they're actually going through, despite uh, the circumstances, it is their passion. They love doing it and they will not be afraid to wake up every day to basically run around and make sure that they are, they are let's say they are improving on their passion, okay? Now, as we proceed, one of the things that you realize that it's, just, it's not just about having that inner passion or inner zeal. If your person who is trying to look forward to make money from your passion, from that that sparks your soul, you need to develop skill out of it, okay? And actually it is the skill that people pay for. People don't pay for your inner feeling or, or whatever it is, they pay for the skill because they pay for the fruits that they can benefit from your passion, okay? So you need to understand that even as you pursue, okay? As we can see, uh, these two ladies uh, love photography and from the look of their eyes, you can see that they are happy with the device. So that is like their passion. That is what uh, they love doing. And it's something that maybe they don't struggle. I, th I think we, if, if you went through school, you'd find that some people struggled less at mathematics and other people found it much easier. Now, passion and talent may seem to have a relationship, but I just want to distinguish a little small here. And I know that people that are following through this program, maybe you let at an advanced stage of your life and you feel there's no talent at all for you to pursue anymore because you feel you've grown up. Now, talent is something that is natural. It comes basically natural, okay? And I'll tell you that myself. Yes, um, I may not be a talented, let's say runner, I may not be a talented, let's say maybe dancer or whatever it is, but I have, let's say, talent for numbers. Okay, if it's mathematics, that is, that is, that is, that is, I have a lot of strength in that area. But is it my passion? Mm, it is, it, it is, it is one of my passions. Okay, but somebody can also have a talent where they really don't have passion in. But somebody can also have a talent which is also their passion. Okay, so we need to be able to distinguish these two. But all, all in all, when it comes to passion, away from talent, where we feel that some people are talented and we are not talented. With passion, every one of us has something that they are passionate about. That is, that is one of the things that it should even make you feel a little more inspired to actually desire to look, to look into yourself to find what are you passionate about, okay? And this is something that we already know. We, already, we are already doing, but we basically didn't realize that this is actually our passion, okay? So, the best way for you to be able to uh, put this in much clear way is to write it down, okay? Just put it down and reflect on what are some of the things that you love doing. Reflect on some of them and put them down. And that will help you at the end of the day to realize that, okay, I love this, I love doing this, and uh, this can be able to help me uh, change, okay? So I have a few, uh, a few facts about passion. Now, before I go into there, uh, this, uh, I think this face looks familiar to some of you uh, who may have seen this gentleman. This gentleman is a, is a South African uh, public speaker. He's called Vusi Tembekwayo. He's, um, he's a public speaker and his passion is into speaking, okay? And if you followed some of his series, you really see the charisma that comes with his speaking. Some of the things you've, you can be able to see passion in the way somebody does their work, even at your workplace. You can easily know who is passionate about their work and you can also know who is not passionate about their work. So that is what passion does. Passion reflects even on your face. It can be read by other people, okay? Now, like I said, every, every one of us has the passion, okay? Or gift or talent. And if you're a believer, you believe, uh, um, that your creator has a reason why they created you. And the reason why they created you is not for you to come here and uh, let's say, grow, get married, give, let maybe get children and then uh, take them to school, take care of them and then you die. That is, not, that is not what you created for. And that's why you see passion also has 
a link also onto the purpose, okay? In most cases, your purpose is, is, is something that you, you can also, um, is, is one of the sources of, of your passion, okay? Because in most cases, you find that what you may think as your, uh, what, or what you may think as you're passionate about would actually end up to be actually your purpose. Something that you feel you, sh you can incline yourself onto and say, if anyone ever wanted to remember Samuel, let's say after 50 years, they should remember me for this, okay? For example, I'm, I'm an accountant and yes, I do whatever I do, but if somebody ever, let's say if, if I had the chance to write down what I would love the world to remember me about, I think the impact that I create through the transformation, through the personal finance literacy trainings, through the capacity building, through the inspirations, I think would make more sense for me, okay? Because I find that to be more of my purpose and I find that to be more, more, more of my passion, okay? So every one of us has something. You don't, you cannot say I don't have it, something that I, I maybe I have passion uh, for, okay? And of course, along the way, we also get realized that sometimes if you, if you can't really find out through uh, reflection or through uh, maybe people giving you feedback or even through um, realizing some of the things that you do, you can even go ahead to let's say maybe find a mentor who can, who can help you, can be able to do that diagnostic kind of way. There are also different tools, by the way, online that help you to understand who you are Okay, some that self-realization sometimes may not be possible for you, but you can be able to get those tools. But for us, let's start with the basics that we can easily tap into. Okay. Now you can also have more than one kind of passion. Okay. Now I give you an example. I have a passion in writing. Um, and some of you have read some of my articles. Of course, they're not the best articles, but it's something that I'm passionate about, and it's something that I'm developing a skill for every day, okay? It's, I have passion, love for it, and I'm continuously developing myself to see that I get much better. I also have passion for speaking, okay? And once I'm, I'm able to be given a platform, I can speak over and over time, okay? And then I have passion in, in different other areas. So you can have passion in different areas. And we are saying that through those different areas is where we now want to look into, how can we transform this now into actually something that somebody else can actually pay for it. For example, I'm a speaker and I have spoken on different platforms where people have been able to pick money and be able to pay me as a speaker. Even my writing, okay? My writing has been able to generate for me an income. It may not be a direct income that somebody paid for my article, but through the articles I've been able to, to create a brand that some of you have been able to come and join in through the courses. Okay, that I'm, I'm, I'm offering. So passion has been able to create that for me, okay? So the other thing that you also need to do is you can also find passion in doing something. You don't need to really uh, start with the passion. Uh, let's say, uh, say I'm start, um, I just have this passion and then I start. Even the things that sometimes that you do, you can actually find passion in doing something. You can start it and actually find passion in it, okay? You may find something and say, I want to try out this. And then once you start it, you actually realize that it's something that ignites you and you're like, I wish I started this a little earlier on, okay? I didn't start as a confident speaker or somebody who can be able to speak before an audience. It's something that I just gave a shot. I felt like my desire is into such, such an aspect. And you see with passion, you may not be doing it already. This could be something that somebody is doing, but you love what they are doing and you feel like, you wish you should also be doing that exactly, okay? And that could be also one of the areas that you could use to actually identify what you're passionate about, okay? And then also one of the things that also we need to also understand is the passion may also change over and over time. Today I may be passionate about my accounting, but over and over time, I, I may see it phasing. And I now, I may say I'm now passionate into the coaching. I'm an accountant and, uh, yes, um, I'm earning a very good paycheck, but that's not where my passion is. My passion was there maybe five years back, but I'm now switching into something that I'm very more passionate about that I think I can continuously do for a very long period of time. And one of the things that even as we continue through, you'll realize that people who choose to do something they're passionate about, 
they will do it over and over time. They will not, they will not feel like it is something they are just doing for a living, but it is something that they can actually even do for free as long as they're actually doing it. They, the payment for whatever they are doing is the self-fulfillment, is that inner feeling of feeling like I have actually had this training and my people have been transformed. When I have I do such a program and somebody comes and tells me, Samuel, I had this passion and I was not earning from it, but from your webinar, I was able to start and I can now say I'm earning out of it. For me, that alone gives me the fulfillment. It doesn't matter how much you paid for this program. What matters most is for me to see the transformation. And that is that for me alone makes my day, makes uh, my evening, whatever it is, okay? So that is what uh, passion uh, could actually bring, okay? Yeah, but also, as we also uh, continue also in the aspect, like I said, it's not just about the inner feeling or the zeal, but it's about now, you see, when it comes to earning money uh, from your passion, passion is just 20% of the equation. The 80% is now the business of the passion, okay? The business of the passion. Like we're seeing, I think you may find, uh, I think I was listening to one, one lady who was saying that chameleon, may seem to be uh, one of those most successful musicians in Uganda. But Chameleon is not the best is not the best singer that we have in Uganda. We have very, very eloquent singers, but those, that, those singers have not been able to get to where Chameleon is at this point in time, okay? Now, the same thing also for you as well. You could be passionate. You could be, let's say, talented at something. But then if you don't appreciate the fact that there is the business side of your passion, then it's much likely that you not earn from it. There are, guys, there are people who are good at cooking, okay? Some of the ladies that who are on my program are ladies who are good cooks and they can cook. But if you ask them if they have ever made any single cent from their cooking, they will say no. Somebody is good at baking, but they even don't know how they can actually use their baking skill to actually make a living, okay? So we need to um, appreciate that. And I think at the end of the day, this program will also help us to uh, get into, to understand how can we actually find our passion, okay? Now, as we go through this program, I want you to make reflections, okay? And I believe that at this point in time, you have something in idea that you love doing, okay? It's not about the work that you're doing currently, it's not about the degree you earn from university. It's not about, let's say, I don't know what to call it, but it's just something that you love, just love doing. You may not even have studied it at all, but it's just something that ignites your soul, okay? Ignites your soul. It's that one thing that you feel like um, maybe you, you've gained some expertise, maybe through experience. You see, some people uh, develop their passion through their life experiences. Somebody may be good at counseling because they went through a terrible aspect that actually made them appreciate life and appreciate the value of a counselor. And they took through, through their mantle to say, I'm going to also going to help people in this kind of scenario, okay? So more to reflection on uh, our passion, things like what advice do you love to give? Like what do you love to give? For example, the advice I love to give people is around how to thrive in their businesses anything to do with business advice, I love doing this, okay? I love doing this. So I have passion in that area. And also, way to also find out is, what do people call you for? Have you ever found yourself in circumstances where you're the go-to person in, in, in certain circumstances? When somebody is having challenges with their marriage, you're the go-to person. When somebody is, let's say, wants something to do with, let's say, electronics or whatever it is, you're the person they are looking out for. When somebody is looking out for somebody who is good in accounting and so on, you are the one who comes to their mind, okay? That could be your passion. That could be your passion. And at the end of the day, you also think about something that you, let's say, get up early for. There are people who get up early, let's say, at five, and they're doing something. And, and the, many people are sleeping at such a time. But what pushes them? In most cases, you may find it's not just about, let's say, they are following a routine or a regulation for, from somebody to say that you must report at five, but they just feel they should wake up. Somebody just wakes up in the morning on a Saturday and they will find them at their farm 
and they are very happy. You find them rotating around, putting plants in, in right shape, doing whatever it is that maybe they are taking care of their flowers, whatever it is. It's just an inner feeling. It's something that you cannot explain. It's something that it's just, uh, God just grants it to us, okay? And that is what passion brings. And then also, the other way also to reflect about is what subject uh, would make you excited to read? I've ever gone to, gotten to, let's say, a bookstore or a library, and there are different topics. You're not reading for exams. You're not reading for anything. And you feel like, I need that book. I need to read it. Or you've seen it online, and you felt like, I need to read this book. It may not be, no, it not be that. It could be an article that you just saw somebody posted on Facebook, and you're really attached to it. Or you're actually following this person because of that single aspect that they are into. That is your passion. That is your zeal. Okay, I'm somebody who follows many people who are into the public, the, the let's say the personal development space. I follow many public speakers. I follow many inspirational speakers. That is my area. That is what I have passion, let's say, for. And for me, through that, that even boosts my capabilities, okay? Because I'm able to learn more from them through the things that they're actually doing, okay? And then, of course, also one of the other questions I wanted to really add here is what do you love to do in your retirement? And you see, the reason why I'm bringing this question at this point in time is that in most cases, we want to postpone these things until when we are 50, until we, when we are 45, until when we are 60. And that's when we want to start doing some of these things. So when we are trying to think about how to transform our passion into profit, ours is to think about the aspect of how can we actually start some of these things and even start profiting from them, okay, at the end of the day, where we don't have to first wait to go to retirement, and that is when we want to really follow through them. So it's very, very important that we make these reflections a little early. Now, I know you have a job, okay? I know you have a job, and I know you're earning very well. I know you, let's say you're a consultant, myself, I'm a consultant. I'm earning from some people through that. And I also run normal businesses, uh, like retail businesses, like let's say, uh, uh, let's say maybe service businesses. I run them. But at the end of the day, passion is also one of my income stream. Now, on average, somebody should have a minimum of four income streams. And those that uh, even go beyond, actually, uh, if you're a believer, even the Bible talks of, let's say you should have over seven income streams, okay? You should have over seven income streams. And why you should have all these income streams is because you cannot really tell what will actually happen in one source of income. And why passion so much here? You know, passion is in a way that it is something that you love doing and somebody is actually willing to pay for it. So it is something that you can even do much in a much easier way. I'll tell you that myself, if you just wake up me up and say that somewhere to at around 10, we want you to come and speak to our organization about this topic. It's, that's a topic in my line. It is something that I'll, I'll, I'll be able to, to just get that enough feeling and power to just go for it, okay? Because it's something that I love. So that's why in addition to us looking at our jobs, in addition to looking at our consultancies, looking at the businesses that we are running, the buy and sell, the retail shops, our passion is one of those rich fields that we can pursue. And one of the things that you also need to appreciate is your passion is something that you can retire into as long as you find ways of how to earn from it. And I want to tell you that even when you're starting a business, if you start a business that is around your passion, much like that this business will actually be successful than any other business. Leave this whole aspect of, let's say, you finding what is in the market, what is needed, and you start it. If you start something that is around your passion and you can actually find people to pay for it, I want to tell you that even the work that you're doing, have you ever gone to, let's say, let's say the barber or you've gone to, let's say, somebody who is, a, uh, let's say somebody who is into tailoring or somebody, you'll be able to see a lot of passion in them in the work that they do. Even their products reflect the passion because they have that, that extra effort that they put in. It's not just about them making money, but it's about that inner feeling that they feel they feel when they actually present that product to you, okay? So that is why we need to reflect about this whole thing of passion, even as we aspire to make a more 
okay, of a living out of this, okay? Now, now that we know our, what passion means, and now I believe that at this point in time, you have, let's say, one or two things that you can say that this is, this is something that I'm passionate about, okay? Now, I have a few tips that um, I want to share with you around uh, profiting from your passion or making money from your passion in simple sense, okay? Now, like I said, it's not just about the passion, okay? Passion is just 20%, but what brings in the money is the 80%. So we want to now dig into what is the 80%. Now, if your passion is about cooking, let's say, it's not about just you going to the kitchen, put a few recipes there and you have food. And yes, people love the food that you, 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 you're providing to them. Now, if you have someone who wants to profit from your passion, go beyond what you even just know, okay? Let's say you're good at cooking. Find out how can I even better this cooking? I just, maybe you develop this maybe from your experience as you're growing up. Just yes, still think about what exactly can I actually do to actually be a best cook, okay? Somebody who, because you see, it's the best people that are hired by, let's say, by weddings or by events to be able to provide the cooking. Even when it comes to singing, it's the best people that are actually hired, okay? Even, even if it's my work, maybe my coaching work, it's the best people who can, who can deliver that are actually hired. So it's not just about your passion. It's about also transforming that passion into something that makes you stand out, okay? That is why we are saying become the best at your passion. By best, we don't mean you're competing with others, but you should be, become the best version of you. You know, just say I'm good at cooking. I think you've had guys, somebody who says that, yes, I have passion for singing, but when they start singing, you actually even Africa listen to their voice. The same thing with cooking. Somebody says I'm good at cooking, but when you go to, let's say, uh, another place and you taste food from another place, you actually realize that this person doesn't actually know how to cook. Even themselves really realize this, okay? So that's why I want to tell you that it's not just about your passion. It's about what you're doing every day to improve that passion. And I want to tell you that learn as much as you can around your passion. And what you can do to learn with this aspect is find other people that actually in the same thing, okay? And you know, passion, we have even, this is, uh, could be something that, uh, would be as bold, broad as to you, but what is that that you love doing, okay? That you can actually find other people who are actually doing and profiting from them and you learn from them, okay? And learning from them does not mean attending a degree or going for a course. It could be just buying a book around it, a given topic, okay? And you learn, you do a self-study. It could be as simple as just Googling and trying to read some of the articles that are available on the internet. It could be as simple as also going to YouTube and finding some videos that are around that topic and continuously better yourself every day. Because at the end of the day, when you present your product into the market, either it's a service or it's a product, there's a lot of judgment. As it is your passion, it's, it's a passion to many people. And it being a passion to many people, it means that you're going to face competition along the way. You could be learning, you love, you love cleaning. Okay? And when, you, when somebody gets to your home, it's very neat. And you can actually create a cleaning business out of that passion for cleaning. But at the end of the day, there are other things that you need to learn more about cleaning because the way you clean your home is not the way you're going to clean an office, not the way you're going to clean maybe uh, an environment like maybe manufacturing environment. There's a lot that comes with it, that. Okay, So you need to learn more about your passion and see what exactly actually do okay now one of the things that uh, i also want to also highlight here is that also to become skilled now uh what i speak about uh skill is that skill is an extra to passion now if i'm passionate about speaking i need to learn the art of speaking i need to learn what exactly will it will it be that will keep an audience for over two hours plus listening to me. It's not just, and one of the things that I've also appreciated with life is that whatever we actually do or whatever we're passionate about has a science behind it. Even writing, the reason why you write some articles and you feel like you should read every day is not, does not just come by, let's say, by talent or whatever it is. 
there is a science behind it. And that's where the skill comes in. So become skilled. And through learning, you can also become skilled. But also through practice, you can also become skilled. OK? And along the way, also get feedback from people and improve every day. Be open to feedback. And you can use your small circle and say, I'm good at cooking, OK? If you're, you're passionate about baking, bake a few cakes. Give some of, some of the people that are in your circle and get their feedback. They're like, I think the sugar you put in is a little, a lot. You need to uh, maybe uh, reduce it. Maybe you, in this thing, you put a lot of water or whatever it is. Maybe the shape, you need to change the shape, OK? Or you need to adopt this. And through the feedback, people even recommend you other people that can help you improve at the end of the day. And you'll see yourself becoming better, better, and better every day, OK? And that's what happens with passion. It's not just something you say, I'm passionate about, let's say, fashion, and that is all. Go and get, even if it's a simple certificate, it to add more to you. Even if it's somebody who is already doing something that you love and you feel that they can train you, go for them and they'll be able to help you along this journey so that you become a good cook, a good baker, a good fashionist, a good photographer, or a good graphic designer, or a good teacher, or a good trainer, whatever it is that you're passionate about, okay? So that is uh, very important. Now, one of the other things that I also want to uh, highlight here is, of course, find a trainer, find a coach, find a mentor. You're breaking. We can't hear now, you, Mr. Sam. OK. All right. Am I much better now? Can somebody confirm if I'm much better? Yes, Sam, um, you're, 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 you know, uh, you're not here. Yeah. I'm now fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So thank you so much for that. So I was just trying to say that find a trainer, find a mentor, find a coach. Now, I want to appreciate the fact that you're part of this program. And it's because you've realized how important a coach or a mentor could be in your, in your career or could be in the line that you want to go into. Now, in most cases, we want to figure it alone. And we are not willing to invest in, let's say, being able to find somebody who can help us. Now, one of the things that I've found about life, and I want to tell you right now that in every life aspect, have somebody who you regard, let's say, as a mentor. Now, sometimes you may not have, let's say, maybe a direct relationship with a mentor, but have somebody you look up to in, in your passion. Somebody whom you, you can just go and understand, let's say, online, on what they are doing, if that is your if that is your space, somebody who can you can let's say join their program, let's say training, somebody who can whom you can buy a book from, somebody whom you can create a one-on-one -on -one, one session that can help you figure it out than you doing it uh, and making mistakes when you have somebody who you can actually be able to ask and be able to help you. Okay, so that is uh, very important. So I just want uh, to just share with you a small quote here. It's from uh, Malcolm Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell is, the, is, is, is one of those uh, international authors. And he says that it takes 10,000 hours to truly master anything. Time spent leads to experience. Experience leads to proficiency. And the more proficient you are, the more valuable you'll be. It takes 10,000 hours. Now, just ask yourself, what are 10,000 hours and how long will this take? This is, a, this is average, if you're doing, let's say, maybe eight hours, this is about, let's say, five years. It's about five years. Now, why I bring in this aspect is the aspect, remember we say that be the best at your passion. So you're not, you don't do your passion just this year and next year you move into another passion. If you want to profit from it, I'll give you my, my example. I started my speaking career, the coaching, the mentoring that I do in 2015, in 2015. That's about, about now six years back. Now, if you get to one of my training or in case you get to, to one of my free webinars, or you read one of my articles. It is a series of training and reforming myself that I've gotten where I am today. Now, 
you too need to appreciate the fact that it's not going to happen in, in a single day. It is something that you're going to do over and over time. Now, what even makes it much simpler is that your passion, you're passionate about it. So you don't have, let's say, uh, a time limit onto it. You're not like, I'm going to retire within five years. Why should I follow this thing? Your passion is something that you can carry on over and over time because you love doing it, okay? So this is just a reminder for you that if you want to become the best at something, now you don't, you may not need the 10,000 hours. There are people who may need a few hours to get there, but this is just to give you a mindset that this thing that I'm doing, if I want to become the best at it, or if I want to become a best version of me in this aspect, it's something that I should keep doing over and over time. And it's something that I should keep refining myself over and over time. Okay, so it's very important. I just wanted to bring in this uh, this quote for you. Okay, now um, I also want to comment here and say, live your passion. It basically should be. Uh, I think you've had this comment of live your dream. The same way we also say, live your passion. Okay, do what you lo love. Help people. The money will follow. Now, in most cases. Many people that are onto the journey of passion, they want to make money fast, okay? Their, their mind is, this thing should bring me money immediately. Now, one of the things that I've realized and from experience is that money doesn't come immediately, okay? Money doesn't come immediately. But one of the important factors here for you to note is that the world will always be watching the world will always be watching. Whatever you do, even if it's an article you post, even if it's any support that you provide to somebody, the world will be watching. And every, every, everything that you do every day supplements onto how your future will look like, okay? Right now, if I told you that for the first three years, I didn't make anything from writing or speaking, I wouldn't be lying because I was doing it out of of passion and that's why you say oh, it's your passion it's something that you want to pursue okay but of course from this program we want to see how we can we can create some amount of money eh, along the way as we we perfect our craft we need also see to continue as you know it's not just about following your passion without having the mindset of how to monetize it okay the monetization aspect of it when you follow your passion with the aspect of monetization then it even helps you to get this a little quicker than any other person. There are, guys, there are people that you find doing certain things they love, but they have never thought about even making money out of it, okay? But one of the things, of course, you say, this is my passion, why should I really charge people out of it? At the end of the day, even the people that you're impacting out of your passion, you need to be able to impact more people. So the money that you make through your passion is able to help you to make more impact. If I charge for such a training, I know that, I'm able to deploy this and offer, let's say, more free webinars that can help other people be transformed, okay? So your passion is basically, is to create for you uh, more money that can help you to take your passion to another level, okay? And one of the things that uh, also you'll find with the passion aspect, okay, is the aspect that uh, I wanted to bring in the aspect of pull versus push factor. Now, just like any, any product, don't, don't be somebody who is who is pushing a product into people's eyes. Buy, 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 buy from me. Buy this product. You should buy it. I think you've been able to go to markets where somebody just brings to you, if, even if it's a cloth, they want you to buy. And you're like, really? Now, with your passion and with any other aspect of business, you need to work the aspect of how to attract. It's just like money. When you chase money, it will get into a rat race. But if you let, you make yourself of value that you attract other people to actually be able to tap into, into your passion and be able to pay you for it. It's actually, it's going to make for you uh, a good living. And I'll give you an example. That myself, I know some of you that are part of this program, you may not have met me at all, but there is something that drew, got you closer to say that I need to be part of this program program okay so that is the same way you should also follow through your passion is continuously develop your craft become better every day at the end of the day like i said the world is watching 
And that is when you see somebody eats your cake and you, the next step recommend you to somebody who has a bigger wedding and somebody is going to give you, let's say, uh, an, let's say you a payment of over, let's say, 10 million because the event is big and that would just be a game changer for you. So like it is said, I'll play my part. I'll work hard and wait until my time will come. The same thing with your passion as well. Don't just think that money will come immediately. But one of the things that I want you to do is develop value around yourself. And that's why I want you to serve through your passion, serve. Through my writing, I serve people. Through my speaking, I serve my people. Okay. Offer volunteer. You don't have to be paid always. In the volunteering, people are watching. Okay. If you if let's say offer, just offer some of these things so that at the end of the day, people are able to get you get noticed. People are able to know, okay, this guy is actually good at this fashion thing. This guy is actually good at this singing thing. Offer, create an offer in, in terms of uh, show, showcasing of how good you are without even people paying for, for it. Because in, in, just imagine if I just called you for this program without doing anything, like let's say for free that you had the chance to be part of. At the end of the day, you would have questions about how valuable I am. But at the end of the day, since I gave you a chance to look into what value I hold, that attracted you along the journey. So it's the same way, the same thing for you as well. Try to have some kind of volunteering along the way through your, your passion. And that's why you see guys who are artists. Somebody will just get somebody who is a celeb, draw them on that board and go and give this board to them as a birthday. This celeb posts about, about this board on, let's say, on their Facebook page. And this guy gets a, a lot of people looking for them to try to help them in that area. You see, and that's how 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 people make money. Okay, they do things for free and be able to attract, yeah, attract attract uh, an income from other people. Okay, yeah. So that is uh, one of the things I wanted to highlight. Now, like I said, uh, we are also trying to see how can we actually create money from what we know. Now, after you've developed your craft, okay, after you've developed your craft, you become at this certain level where you can sell to other people. Now, to make money out of it, you can also become a coach and help others win, okay? Now, there are other people that want to learn more about baking. There are other, many people who want to learn more about, let's say, uh, writing. There are more people who, who want to learn more about, let's say, uh, the charity work that you do. There are many people who aspire to get ahead in life, just like the way you also found the mentor. There are also people who are looking forward to actually learn from you, okay? So, and that is where now you come in and be like a coach, just like the way you were coached, okay? Of course, coaches uh, find coaches to coach them, but they also become coaches to other people. And also one of the things that you may not just want, you may not uh, want to really, follow that passion to the level of maybe to a higher level, but you can actually help other people actually get to that, le to that level where they can get. I'll give you an example. For example, this picture you're seeing, uh, the guy behind there is, uh, is the coach to Usain Bolt. The guy in front is Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is one of the fastest guys in the world. Now, he had a coach, but the coach is very important just like the coach of a football club. A coach is very important into the success of this person they are coaching. So you can be in that picture and say, for me, I may not, uh, my aspiration may not be to just be a solely cook around there, but since I'm good at cooking, I'm actually going to, to, to train other people in cooking. That's what I'm going to basically do. If I'm good at speaking, I'm going to be a person who is going to help other people to be able to speak eloquently. And people are creating business out of it because this is your passion. You love doing it. There are other people who love doing it, but they also want to develop the skill. That's, and that's why I say first develop the skill that you can sell to other people. Okay. At the end of the day, you're good at photography. The other people who love to learn photography, even if it's coaching, I love coaching. There are other people who want to be like me, who also want to start the coaching business, who want to also help other people in the areas. Okay. So that's uh, something that you need to also think about. Now, in the same way, one of the other things that you could also think about is uh, write a blog or a book about your passion. 
Now, some of these things, we sometimes see them as Western sort of uh, things. Like we see these things as things for people who are uh, abroad. They're not for our market here. But I want to tell you that these are the things that are going to work in our digital age, okay? And that is why you see people who are writing on Facebook. I'm a writer and I write certain articles. People follow me. I have a good following. For example, right now I'm have a following of over 12,000 people that follow me on LinkedIn, which is one of my main platforms. But why do people follow me? It's because of what I write. Now, those people that follow me, I'm able to transform them into paying clients, people who want to learn more of what I post. So you have a passion for something. Could you write about it? You're good at cooking. Could you share with us some of the recipes? Okay. You're good at accounting. Could you share with us what really accounting entails? Could you tell other people? Okay. You're good at, uh, you're passionate about health. Okay. Wellness. Could you be able to transform that health and wellness into something that other people can actually be able to gain from? Okay. At the end of the day, when you write this information, the income may not be direct, but I, like I told you, it will create a revenue at the end of the day. You can even write a book. People that write books are not people who are very suave, special character in them. These are people who just find somebody writes a book, just like the way you're also passionate about finding that book that's about cooking or is about, let's say, photography or is about fashion. There are people who are looking forward to actually read more about the same aspect. So you can write a book, write a blog where people follow. You can also go ahead to, let's say, write a, a report, create a PDF, create an ebook. And then at the end of the day, you can even sell this. I have myself I bought some ebooks from different people, okay? Learn from them. So in the same way, you can also be able to earn your money from this area because people want to learn more. And every time you create a profile where people know that you're best at this thing, for example, I have, I have, I have, I have um, one of my friends, she's good uh, in accounting. Uh, she's a former work of uh, PWC and so on. She created a book on record keeping, just as simple as record keeping. And now her passion is into such aspects, but he, she has been able to sell this to different business people that are struggling with their bookkeeping, okay? So find a solution that your passion can solve and put it into text, okay? And see how you can help other people, either give it for free, so that's the giving it for free creates uh, a platform for you to get consultation opportunities, or go ahead to actually sell it. Don't be afraid, people are willing to buy from it. It's knowledge, you've gained from it, you're passionate about it, you have a lot of information about that aspect, it means other people can actually pay you. The other aspect that you could also do to earn more from your passion is to create a training out of it, a course. I'm very passionate about personal finance, and this is one of my courses. And people are, are, are pay for it to come and listen through. I have a friend uh, whose picture I've used here. These are his students. He's passionate about cooking, and he started a catering school. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's actually uh, runs a catering school which he located in Tisasi there. He trains women into baking. And they are very happy, as you can see, in front of, in front of them are their products. They are very happy with the milestone where they have reached. You too you have a passion that you can actually train other people in, that people will be able to pay you money because they want to learn from you. So training is also one of the areas that you can also look, look into. All those are different ways of how you can turn to your passion and start earning from it. Just think about it. There's that thing that you know very well that other people would actually be willing to pay for. Put it in a course, utilize online tools or do an in-person sort of, uh, let's say training. Have somewhere where you partner with other, other people that is at your home, call people and say, I can train you in, let's say, uh, in, in this fashion thing, I can train you in this, let's say, beauty thing, okay, at the end of the day. And people will be willing to pay because they, this is a need. It's a, it's, it's, you, you're solving something, okay? So don't be afraid to think about that aspect, okay? You can also create physical products. I just used a picture of an artist piece, okay? And uh, this is, you can create a product out of your passion. For example, just like the way we saw ladies here with their cakes, that's a product for them. If it's uh, somebody who is 
passionate about fashion, create, create products out of it, make some dresses that you can sell to other people, okay? Or you passionate about art, make some art pieces that other people can be able to buy. Create physical products built from your passion. At the end of the day, people can be able to pay you from. For example, I'm a speaker. And if this, this course that I've done, I can be able to put this maybe on CD and I can be able to sell it and other people can be able to buy from it. So there are different ways of how you can transform your passion into an actual product, okay? Now, will it be easy? I want to tell you that the journey may not be easy, okay? But I would rather be a failure at something I love than a success at something I hate. I would rather be a failure at something I love than a success at something I hate. Yes, I have that job. I'll, I'll be successful. I'll, I'll let's say earn from it, earn a good paycheck. But when it comes to waking up to go and do that job, I don't feel happy. But just imagine you trying out something that you love and trying it every day. At the end of the day, you know that even if you fail, it's something that you love, you have nothing to lose. It's your passion, it's your inner feeling, okay? But we are not here for failure. We are here to see how we can become much better. But even if failure comes, don't, don't be stopped by fear. Don't say, because I made that cake and I got uh, feedback from somebody that my cake is not sweet, or I tried to sing and somebody told me my voice is not good, or I tried to, let's say, speak and know and they, everyone got into their phones. It, 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 it does not happen in a single day. Like he said, Rome was not built in one day. But you know what? Every day they were building. Every day they were building. So what is that that you, call, you would call your Rome that other people would say were not, was not built in one day, but for you were actually building every day, okay? So it's very important that you have that in mind. Because at the end of the day, we are here to help you transform your mind that you can be able to start something that can help you. Okay. Now, one of the other things that has also helped me along my journey in being able to get more from my passion is associate yourself with other people with similar passion. Now, what this helps you is that it energizes you. I want to tell you that if I have passion for, let's say, for, uh, let's say for fitness, I'll get myself, let's say, into a healthy club. Okay. If I have passion, let's say for cooking, I'll get myself in an environment where there are different other people who are into cooking. Now with online space, we have what we call Facebook groups. And what you basically just do, of course, those may not be common, maybe in your circles, but what you just basically do, go in the search button and just put there, if you're passionate about reading, just put there and you'll be able to get a group that is so much onto reading. If you're passionate at health, you'll be able to find a group that is so much passionate about health. If you're passionate about, let's say, uh, let's say photography, you'll be able to find where people keep on speaking about that craft every day. And at the end of the day, they are sharing skills, they're sharing experiences, they're able to help you. Even if you're passionate about business, there are many platforms that have people who are in the same line. So your is, is to look out for such platforms, okay? And see, if you're passionate about personal finance, we know that some of, uh, some of us are part of certain groups where people are, are sharing about personal finance. And they're very, even WhatsApp groups, these are very many. And one of the things that you can also do, you may not have to wait to find a group that, uh, to find people who are passionate about the same thing. You can actually create a group yourself, okay? And continuously find people who are passionate and add them there so that you have the community. Now, what this helps you is that at the end of the day, if you want to, if you ever want to sell, either a course or either ebook or you want someone to read your article or someone to watch your video even if it's for free you have people who you actually can reach out and people are interested in your message you know not everyone is interested in in cooking not everyone is interested in photography not everyone is interested in writing but if you're part of a community of other writers or other people who are into cooking who are, who are into photography who are into fashion there's more to learn from them. You know, iron sharpens iron and you can't keep yourself outside, out, out of that. Now, it may not be groups as I've talked about. Could be events. Could see an event for people in true farming and you get yourself into that event, either online or physical. Get yourself, create contacts of people in the same line. People that you can call on to and say, 
this thing is stuck. I need support. I need a recommendation to this. And somebody will be able to have the right knowledge to be able to help you. Create yourself into a circle of people with like minds, people who have the same passion, people who are in the same dream. There are other people who are also already reliving the dream that you want to aspire to. So at the end of the day, they are your motivation, okay? So that's very important at the end of the day. And then of course, uh, one of the other things that I also want to still comment here is leverage on online tools. Now, I can't emphasize much more, but whatever passion you have, if you want to make money out of it, you have to embrace online. This course, you're watching it online. You're in a WhatsApp group right now. You uh, have a Facebook account. You have a LinkedIn account. You have a Yahoo email. You have a Gmail. Now, the same thing with your passion as well. Find ways of how to leverage on online tools to make money out of your passion. There are many people who are good at singing, and you find them singing online through live videos. There are people who are good at cooking. You find them taking pictures of their nice food that they have cooked and they'll post it online. There are people who are passionate at writing and you find them posting articles every day of the work that they are doing. People who are good at graphic design, they are designing things and posting online. People who are good at artists, at, at kind of work, they are doing things and posting online. So what about your passion? Do you think it will thrive? In this era and age, we cannot distinguish ourselves from the online because our life is online. Even after this training, you're going to check something online. Even after, let's say, maybe the next day, you're going to wake up on your phone. Now, as other people are consumers, we want to now become what we call producers online. We want to be able to produce content that people can be able to resonate with. We are able to connect, create communities, create those WhatsApp groups, create those Facebook groups, create that kind of brand where people are known. Because it's, this is a place, you don't, you're, not, you're not just going to uh, do something uh, in, in, in your quiet place and you think people will be able to see what you do. Put it outside there, let people see, okay? So it's very important that we think about online space. I cannot speak about passion and forget about this aspect, okay? And then I want to uh, basically end by saying is that let the world know you love what you do. Now I've used uh, these three photos here. If you, uh, you, uh, person who is in Uganda, you must be familiar with some of these faces. The gentleman on uh, this other side is Amos Wekesa. This guy is passionate about tourism. If you want to ask about tourism, he will be the first guy that, that the world will be able to say is good at tourism in Uganda. The next lady there is called Incimenta. Okay, Incimenta is uh, the founder of Livara. Livara is uh, and hair product, basically beauty product. She deals in different products. Insimeta resigned from her job. She was earning over 25 million. She resigned from her engineering job to run her own business, which is Livara, and the brand has grown. Today, she just won, uh, I think, a presidential award for the work that she's doing. The other gentleman with gray hair is called Robert Kaushenga. Is, is a retired uh, is a is a retired CEO who was the CEO of uh, New Vision Group. He's now into farming. He's very passionate about farming and more specifically passionate about coffee. And you speak about coffee, and you really feel like you should find a coffee shop and take some coffee. The same thing with your passion as well. I've used these figures because I know at least these are common figures. But you to your face can be here. There's something that you love to, to do that you can let the world know. Now, that's why I'm saying, of course, for us to make money out of it is like the world needs to know what we exactly do so that they can start recommending us for some of these things. If today somebody asks you, I want somebody who can train me in the aspect of business. Because you've been part of my programs, it will come to your mind and like somewhere I think can help me in this aspect. If somebody asks you about accounting, and say maybe there's someone struggling with the accounting and taxes. You say, this guy taught us about business, but he's also an accountant. I think he can also help you. You're able to share my contact. And at the end of the day, for me, that is bringing me revenue. So what exactly are you doing that is going to make people recommend you to others? You know, we know very well that if 
today somebody recommends you to another person, you're much likely to take on that service or buy that product because somebody has been able to give confidence about that aspect. So it's the same thing for you as well, okay? Yeah, so that's very important. Now, I also want to um, give you this quote, okay? If you feel there is something out there that you're supposed to be doing, if you have passion for it, then stop wishing and just do it. Thank you so much. So I would love to take some questions from, from you and uh, you can mute yourself. Uh, you can unmute yourself and be able to ask or you can use the chat box and I will be able to answer. But in the meantime, I would love to hear from everyone who is watching this live. I want to hear what is your passion? What are you passionate about? I know we've spoken about more about passion, but I would love to hear what Fiona is passionate about, what Daisy is passionate about, what Karen is passionate about, what Mustafa is passionate about, what Ayala is passionate about, what Rebecca is passionate about, and so on. Let's see. Uh, how, how what, uh, what is our passion? Because the same way we are part of this forum and we have different people that are part of this, maybe you're, we could be able to get our first clients from these platforms. Like I said, I'm passionate at speaking and passionate about helping other people along their journey, especially of business. And you have had it. And if you get to hear somebody else who is in need of the services, you'll be able to say someone can actually do it. So I would love to know what I what are you passionate about? And what is that passion you you have some kind of um, thinking that you can be able to monetize and be able to earn from it. So let's do that in the chat box as uh, we also see if there's anyone who is um, who would want to ask, who would want to unmute and ask, please the platform is there. Thank you so much. So would love to go first. Who would want to go first? I don't want to mention your names, but I hope you're also typing for me in the chat box. But I also ask anyway, I'll ask. I think uh, 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 maybe since you're not, you're not coming, so I'll, 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 I'll now point you out. Remember, I'm your coach, and uh, I have the powers to be able to stretch you to think about, 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 about you. So, um, so somebody says, I'm thinking about it because I do lots of things. I do not whether it's a passion or work to do. That's what Fiona says. I think my comment there is, I do many things as well. And as I've told you, uh, there are many things. And like I said, you do not have only have one passion. You can have many things. But one of the things that you need to basically down is cascade them down and ask yourself, what is that, that I'm best at that other people can actually pay for? So that is, that, is, that is one of the things that you now ask yourself. What is, of the many things that I do, including your work, you could be passionate about your work, but I'm now removing the, your eight to five work. In a, away from your eight to five work, what else are you passionate about? Okay, and that is where I want us to think about as well. So Mustafa says, my passion is accounting and designing. Okay, that is his passion. And accounting could be, let's say his uh, one that is, is so much in line with his, his work. Designing could be an extra kind of thing that he could be able to earn from. And like we said, you, you know, you, you may not go into, you're not going to place say, earn maybe millions from, let's say, your passion, but whatever amount of money that you earn from it is, is helpful. I want to tell you that myself, even if you're paying uh, whatever amount you're paying for this program, for me, I'm, 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 I am passionate about it and I can be able to deliver this. At the end of the day, you know, if, even if I lost my job, but uh, uh, maybe tomorrow, I have a starting point. I can start from my passion and build build onto it. Okay, so that's why what I wanted to basically highlight to you. So you may be doing many things, but just think about what is that thing that you're good at that other people can actually pay for. Okay, so thank you so much, uh, Fiona and um, Mustafa, for sharing. I look forward to seeing 
to also hearing from Juliet, hear from Daisy, hearing from uh, Patrickson, Rebecca, and more. Can somebody unmute and uh, maybe say that? Or I would also just love to, to hear about your comment about what you think. Okay, Juliet says, I'm passionate about helping people to learn about benefits of life insurance and how to access them. Yes, that is her passion. And this uh, passion, I'm, I'm glad that this passion even links to your work. So you're very passionate about your work, okay? You're very passionate about your work. But like we, we're saying is that in addition to your passion, okay? Now you see sometimes, for example, you're passionate about helping people to learn more about the benefits. You can try to expound this even a little more. For example, I was passionate about teaching, accounting. And actually, I think uh, some of you know me as a teacher of accounting. I, and I also run, I run an institution that trains in accounting. But I want to tell you that the passion in do the teaching, I was able to even expand that to now to try to teach money, to try to teach about personal finance to other people, okay? So that, and that is what passion does. It is basically, it's, um, it, is, it may not be just linked to a single subject, but let's say I'm passionate about uh, uh, this aspect, but you can uh, you leverage on that that you're passionate about, okay? To be able to, to make even extra living out of it. Like I said, I was passionate about teaching and I was able to expand from my teaching. Now, guess an example, if Juliet is about passionate about helping people learn about the benefits, it means that she, she has this, passion in terms of helping other people, okay? Now, the helping may not only be limited on this aspect, but it could also have other aspects into it. Maybe you, you, you're just somebody who is, who, is, who is always called out for advice, okay? You can be, if it's not on life insurance, you can also be able to basically provide, let's say, advice on other aspects. And these as aspects could be your life experience, okay? Maybe something that you went through, something that you've succeeded at that's why you see marriage counselors could be people who are already running successful marriage marriages and from there somebody says okay i can be able to help other people from the mistakes i've made and from how best i've, I've come out I've, i can be able to help other people to be able to live better marriages okay now and that's why i want now to expand your your brain a little more to think to see that beyond this that I've, this skill that I've gotten as my passion, what else can I actually do? You get, because now we're in terms of now monetizing, what exactly can I exactly do, okay? Yeah, so thank you so much. So uh, the next person here, uh, Rebecca says, I have passion for food and started a bakery. That was having a challenge with balancing with my work and baking, it was so tiresome. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate uh, you sharing. I think one of the things that we also need to, um, like I said, 20% is passion, 80% is how to, to, to make money out of your passion. And now along the, the journey, especially when we're looking at less side incomes, and I want to comment this strongly, is that sometimes it will be overwhelming and sometimes it will be so tiresome. Now, since this is a side income and this is your passion, you want to take it. You want to take it a little low, a little slow, okay? As you build on to it. But at the end of the day, you also want to create a little some ground because, like I said, there are people who have actually resigned from their job to follow their passion. So as this is overwhelming you because of the balancing, yours is also to, to create uh, a plan and see can I actually grow this passion into something that can actually pay me a similar amount as how much I'm earning at my job. I'll give you an example that, uh, yes, today you may be earning a very good pay. And you see, by the way, you see when you live this life, when you live and you get your 80s, or let's say 70s, whatever it is, you will not think about, let's say I was a manager in this organization. That will not give you fulfillment. That will not give you fulfillment. What is going to give you fulfillment is the fact that you followed your passion. I've ever, I've ever thought about, or I've ever had somebody who gets somewhere and said, I wish I followed my passion. 
and somebody is already in in the later age and they feel like this is not even even if it's if you are an individual you could have something that maybe you would have done some time back but maybe because of the circumstances you didn't actually do so yours is create a balance and do it a little uh, maybe a little slow other things that you can also do is let's say find other people to work with you know sometimes we are doing it alone but if you find other kind of support maybe it could be a staff it could be a business partner where you know that uh, I don't have to be overwhelmed, but I have a support system that can help me along the journey, okay? Uh, that can be able to help you, but also create some schedule for yourself and also be able to take in what you can, you can basically uh, swallow or consume, okay? Yeah, so thank you so much uh, for sharing, Rebecca. And then somebody says, I'm passionate, I'm an accountant, passionate about being supportive to others through counseling, encouraging to live peacefully and financially independent life. Karen, this is wonderful, okay? So she's an accountant, okay? And that is, uh, let's say maybe her age to five. She's passionate about accounting, but she's also passionate about being supportive to others. And I think this also is something that I'm also passionate about. It's something that you do and you feel fulfilled. Somebody just calls you and you have over, let's say a one hour conversation on phone, sharing with them and they live and say i'm actually going to i've been thinking about this thing i'm now going to do it or uh i've i've felt down maybe somebody has lost somebody or somebody has is going through a tough time of course life has many circumstances and then you're there and you're there to help them so uh currently thank you so much for sharing and the one say that uh, just like other people you that's your passion it's, it's something that i cannot actually tell you to say this is your passion it starts with from your soul if that is what you feel please go for it okay and then uh, patrickson says i'm passionate about cooking and good food and that has given me a starting of my peanut butter and the opportunity to generally expand to other foods to help people eat well oh wow that is good patrickson i would actually love to order some of your peanut butter because uh, yeah, I love peanut butter. It's very good that you have followed that passion. And uh, I believe that uh, it is something that you love to do. And even when you're doing it, even putting in more effort at the end of the day, I think, I think, I think you're on the right track and I really want to wish you all the best, okay? As you try to expand, as you try to see how to make it much better, I believe you will actually get there, okay? Yeah, yeah, so thank, thank you guys for sharing. And uh, I believe this uh, uh, tries to help you even believe more in your passion and find better ways of how to make money from it, okay? And you see, right now, even through this program, I want us to make certain action points. Even when I'm going to have the one-on-one -on -one sessions, I want to make sure that by the time we have these one-on-one -on -one sessions, you have something that you're going to do. You have something that you feel is your passion, you have something that you feel in the consultancy that you can do. You have something that you feel maybe in the area of business that you can also do and so on. At the end of the day, you can also put all these things into one aspect, okay? Because we, uh, you know about business, okay? So you, you, make, you, you try to get, make your passion, transform it into a business, okay? At the end of the day, your passion can also now bring the consultants a bit of it. Like we said, you can be a consultant, you can be a coach, just like the way we are saying you can be a coach. You can also be a consultant where you can also help businesses and also other individuals in the same, in the same area that your passion is about. So all these things are inter, interconnected, okay? And by the way, if you, whatever you do, even if it's business, along this journey of uh, especially creating an additional source of income is, create something that you are passionate about, okay? Don't just do something because other people are doing it. You know, you don't just want, you don't want to wake up and go for a job where you feel you're overwhelmed, where you feel you're not motivated to that kind of job. And even, even your side income is something that you're not passionate about, okay? Now, of course, uh, I know uh, passion, and now the aspect of being able to monetize, of course, is also very important. You can have passion for something, but if you cannot transform it into a product, then you don't be able to earn from it. And that is why you see 
you maybe need now to maybe follow something else and maybe devote passion out of it okay so it's a uh, it is something that is uh, uh very important for you along the journey to see how can i actually better myself every day to be able to benefit from my passion okay like i said don't be confined onto one aspect okay try to expand like i've told you myself um i'm working and i earn a salary i'm also a business person i i run some businesses i'm also a consultant okay and i'm also somebody who is earning from my passion which is which is, let's say as a coach now all those are income streams and i want to let on a monthly basis i even have targets in terms of how much should come from my coaching how much should come from uh, my consultancy how much will come from this for my businesses of course my salary already that is a bit fixed okay at the end of the day but also my life plan is is that along the journey some of these things i'll keep dropping them along the way i'll maybe leave my job at one point in time and now maybe concentrate on do consultancy. And along the way, I may find myself that after I'm retired and I have enough savings and have enough income, enough assets and enough investments, I can be able to now focus on to let's say what I love to do, okay? My passion. But since I've started it a little earlier, it will be much easier for me at that point in time when I get to that level because I have done this over and over time and I've perfected it. And who knows, even during the time when I'm doing it, uh, for uh, let's say in my free time, it will be able to generate for me uh, an amount of money, okay? So yours should be also the same thing, that in addition to what you're earning, try to create an income stream also from your passion, okay? And see how can I make money out of it? And like we're saying, you're not just, you're not looking for money in these areas because you don't have money, but there is nothing powerful as having a source of income, something that flows into your finances because we cannot tell what tomorrow holds, okay? We cannot tell what that, where that job will actually go. And that's why you see uh, somebody who, let's say, who is passionate, let's say, at uh, maybe advising people around, let's say, uh, maybe life insurance, just to give an, as an example. You may find that tomorrow you may not have a job in life insurance and you have to move, let's say, to another job, maybe to a banking job, okay? Now, in that line, you may want, you may you may not have still an opportunity for you to still do what to still offer the same service for what you're passionate about so you need to now to develop another passion for something else okay so that's why you need to expand what you're passionate about that it is even not, not even it's not limited to your job okay it's not limited to, to the job that you're doing it is something that you can even do without that job okay because like we're saying this is something that we can even do in our retirement this is something that we can even do in, let's say, in our free time when we have nothing basically we are doing, okay? So it's, um, it's important. It's important for us to think about what exactly are we passionate about and how can we transform this into how other people can pay for us, or pay, can pay us, okay? Now, just like the way uh, Patrickson is already earning from his peanut, people are buying, the peanut butter, okay? And I know some of you here may also want his peanut. You could, maybe you could share on the WhatsApp group uh, some of your pictures of your peanut butter. There could be people who will buy and that would be an income for him, okay? And he may expand to other foods that could also generate for him an income, okay? Rebecca, who is passionate about uh, baking and uh, passion for food, this could be an area that friend of mine that I've, I was just telling who is into food and cooking, uh, Baker, maybe you, you may be knowing him. He has been able to grow his business and that business is, has been able to help him attain several assets in life. I cannot compare myself right now to him because he's, he's been able, the business has been able to help him grow much more than if he was still employed. So that could be something that you develop slowly by slowly Yours could actually, when you feel that maybe you're overwhelmed, yours could you reduce on your assignments, let's say the people that you serve, but you, you now increase on, the, um, you better your service, that you're able to get premium clients, okay? You can say, um, I'm only, let's say, handling, let's say, parties or events. I don't handle, let's say, cakes of 50,000, and maybe there you can maybe have, let's say, partner, somebody whom you can work with, 
can uh, be able to let's say um uh support those small small businesses but still within because you also want to develop a clientele base at the end of the day you don't want to chase away customers so you try to create a way of uh, at the end of the day you may not be doing it uh yourself fully but the other person is doing it and you you're growing your clientele base along the journey okay yeah so the same thing with uh, 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 what uh, Bitch also shared along the journey is, in addition to the less life insurance, add, let's say, the aspect of financial independence, okay? Uh, not financial independence, but also financial freedom, whatever it is. Help other people because life insurance fits into personal, personal finance, okay? And when you help me around, let's say, life insurance, I may want other things. I may actually not be good at saving to be able to meet my premiums on a monthly basis. So you could be able to help me in that area of saving. You could be able to help me about other investment portfolios. So yours is to do now. Some of your passion, some, like I said, some of the things you may not be have knowledge about them, but if you're passionate about that area, you take extra time. I, I, I want to tell you that I, I'm, I was, I'm not, I didn't do a degree in personal finance. But I read, at least every day, I read something about personal finance. I read books, I listen to webinars, I attend free events, I attend paid up trainings, I pay mentors to train me. So that betters me every day. So yours is the same way. If you're into food and cooking bakery, you may want to now go and add more skill. If you're already doing something, you may want to learn more of how to better it. It could be as even as simple as packaging. You want to learn more about how to package. Okay. The same thing with also somebody who is, let's say, in accounting. You may also want to see how can I now better my accounting to be able to be able to learn more about the recent tax updates that have happened to be able to serve my clients better. Because at the end of the day, your clients need value. They need to be able to know that they, they know the latest tax laws that are on the ground. They need to be able to know that they can be able to know how to work within the accounting system that is a, a latest technology and so on. So. I can share and share more about that, but I think at the end of the day, ours is to think through of how can we actually get this thing in, in a way that, how can we package it in a way that others can actually pay for it, okay? Yeah, so I wanted to just share with that. So you've shared with me uh, what you're passionate about. I would just love to take some questions because I believe that at least you have a question or two that you may want to ask. May not be a question, could also be a comment or from experience. So Edwin, please come in. Yes, Coach Sam, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, my Edwin. concern is one or two. Firstly, I would like to thank you for, this, for, the, for the session. And then uh, you would like to understand more about how to market and position oneself in, in the market, in, 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 the, in the marketplace. That's, that's my challenge. Normally, I have done many things in my life, but the challenge is I, I like consistency. How can I be able to maintain my consistency? For example, I have a career page where I offer guidance on, on, on coaching and career, but I have a put it out like for one week, then I, 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 gain, I become still for two months. I have focus on LinkedIn, but I don't know what I can do best, but that's my challenge. My challenge is marketing and consistency. How can I ensure that I become more consistent with my work? And, and then too, how can I market myself more? I'm sorry, I came in later. I don't know what this topic has been, but that's my major concern. Uh, thank you. Hello? Okay, thank, thank you so much, Edwin. Yes, I can, I've had you, Edwin. Thank you so much for your questions. I've uh, had them fully. And I just want to comment on them as uh, yeah. others also come in with some other quest questions. Now, thank um, you. In, in terms of in terms of marketing yourself and in terms of be, being consistent, now, one of the things that I want you to think about is uh, the reason why most people are not actually creating alternative sources of income is because the salary blinds them. Because you're earning an amount of money, let's say from your job, you feel it's enough, it's enough to take care of you. You even don't have extra needs, okay? But then we forget about the fact that today you're working and you cannot tell how tomorrow will look like, okay? And I, and I want to start from this perspective. You know, whatever you do, the aspect of why you're doing it matters most, okay? Why are you 
posting the things that you post? Why are you into the baking that you're doing? Why are you into the counseling and whatever you're doing? Now, the why may be, yours could be, let's say you want to help, okay? Now, yours is to ask yourself, if there are people that are benefiting from my advice, what happens if I don't share my advice? It means that people will not, people will be able, will be making let's say wrong mistakes and will be able to not know the clarification that they need. People will not, like for example, somebody's in career coaching. People, people will be losing out on interviews because they don't know the, the interview techniques that could help them. People will actually be less losing, losing promotions that they would have get, gained out of that. So for me, that that alone is my driving factor. And I want to tell you, uh, I also struggle with the consistency. It doesn't come easy. But one of the things that I do is I stretch myself. And I I have a, I have an accountability partner, somebody who um, who is always in check of the work that I do. And some always still ask me about certain kind of things and those push me. And sometimes also when you do something, uh, let's say maybe in the public, when you say it in the public, sometimes it also creates some kind of, um, uh, you create some kind of uh, uh, mindset even within yourself. For example, if you say I'm going to be posting an article every Monday, and even you pop, you tell this to listen to some of your friends, or even as you post it, say, guys, um, um, you be able to catch up my articles every Monday. Use in mind, you like, ha, people will be waiting for some of my articles on, let's say, on a Monday basis. Okay, so that could be one of the things that you you may want to basically do. But understand your why. Yours is to increase your income. But why do you want to increase your income? You're already earning a salary. What is your overall goal? Your overall goal to could be maybe to to be able to, let's say you want to construct, you want to whatever to do. Now that should be your driving factor. So whatever we do, even our work, if, if we didn't have the code of conduct and so on, we'll not be doing our work, but the driving factor should be able to hold you into there. Why are you doing the work that you're doing? And also trying to um, try to find better ways of how to do your work. For example, if it comes to posting and so on, create some of these things in advance. You don't have to wait for the same day to do it because that same day you'll be overwhelmed. You may choose to do these things in advance, have a file, create it and put this post in there and consistently uh, be able to uh, post this when they should be posted. But also in, in aspect of marketing, like I said, your best way to market is to serve people. And what I'm saying about serving people is that every time you're, being seen by people doing a certain aspect. It means that that one person who has seen you will tell other five people and five other people will tell other people. And also become good at what you're doing, okay? Don't just do things in like other people are doing. Find a way, find a value proposition, find something that sets you apart. If you're giving career advice, what, what, what uniqueness comes from you? career advice, okay? And what, what kind of people are you, let's say, targeting? And what exactly does somebody benefit from your content? And that's, that's, that's very important. For me, it has worked for me. I've been able to, to say, let me give value every day through my post, through my free webinars. When you attend my free webinar, you may think it's actually a paid webinar. But at the end of the day, I'm able to, to create that brand, okay? Because Marketing is around creating the brand. It may not be about selling. Today you may say, buy this book, buy this book, or buy this course, or buy this. But if I've not had any of you, I've not had, had you speak about your course and give me an insight of what is in, in there, then I may not really. Uh, and that's why you see people who sell, let's say, things like maybe peanuts or genuts and so on. Those guys will give you samples. Okay, they will give you samples of what they 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 actually selling. Uh, maybe Patrickson is not doing it because of his nature of business. But you find that if today I want to buy many kilograms for Patrickson, Patrickson will not be will not be afraid to give me less a small tint so that I can test his product so that I can buy the rest. The same thing with service businesses as well. Start doing this thing for free as well as you find ways of how to transform it into a paid service. I don't think that Juliet. Juliet, Ju, Ju, Juliet charges every time she does the service of advising people on life insurance. She might be able, she might be doing this even for free, even for people who are not going to buy. Because today you might give it to me for free, and I may buy after two years. And that's why we talked about the Maxwell, uh, uh, the the aspect of doing the ten, the ten hour, the ten thousand hours. 
you do something over and over time. And along the journey, people are watching. And as they are watching, you're transforming yourself. As you're doing this, you're branding yourself. People know you for something. Ideally, in this whole space of uh, passion and so on, is that people should know you for that aspect. And that alone will be able to create for you a clientele base and will be able to create for you money. But like, I also commented on what I called a community. Now, one of the things that is working for people and will continue to work for people, especially in the area of business, is find the community of your buyers. And how do you create a community? I'll give you an example. Today, if I ask for uh, peanut butter and I ask uh, maybe Patrickson send me maybe samples of this. So he sends me, he saves my number. Patrickson, I'll be in the contacts of Patrickson for some good time. That even when he shares anything on his status, I can be able to, to, get, to get to know of his new product and I can buy from him. Now, that alone by him saving me in, in his contacts and me being part of his contacts, I've created a community. He has created a community for himself. Now, one of the things that you also need to do is you don't just create a community. I'll give you an example. I have a, I have a WhatsApp groups and uh, people are, part, are members to them. And those people are the ones that buy from me when I need to sell. Now, those people, I offer them free things over and over time. At the end of the day, when I want to sell, they're the people that will buy from me. I run a YouTube channel and some of my clients have come through YouTube. I've created a YouTube community as well. There are people who wait my, for my videos. So when they watch my videos, they are interested and they, are wait, learn, they want to learn more and they'll be able to join through my program. So there are many strategies of how you can sell yourself. But one of the things I would want to say, it's not a one day thing and it's not a one formula that will actually get you into the client. For you, what you should do in, the, in your aspect of creating a community, even if somebody just consults about what you sell, that person is a potential buyer to you. Yours is to do the work to transform that person into a buyer. If you post an article and somebody is interested, there's that person who always comments on your articles. That person is a, a potential client who can buy from you. Yours is to think about how can this person be transformed from just commenting to actually being a buyer. And how they can be transformed is being able to offer them value and being able to tell them of the extra service that you might have for them. And also structuring it in a way that they're able to know that uh, if I am buy from you, this is the process that I'll go through. But also one of the things that work for you, and this works for everyone, is the referral basis. Do it for me, I appreciate it, or give me that product, it is nice for me. If I can even just say it in a, in a, in a crowd of less eight or five people, just know that that is, a, that is already a market for you. I've been able to create a market for you. For example, if today you're into career coaching, and you coach me very well, and I'm able to get that job, make sure I don't leave without giving you a recommendation, okay? Without giving you a good feedback out of the program. At the end of the day, that feedback, you know, we are all humans. We, we make decisions as a result of other people taking on these decisions. We don't want to be the first people to actually fail into the trap. We want to hear have, have other people also going through the same program and what have been some of the benefits. So this could be your line. This could be some of the things that you want to basically do. And this cascades to all aspects of business. It's all about serve people, make them happy. They'll bring other customers. So I hope that uh, helps you, uh, Adrian, and I hope it gives you certain insights that you can start from. Um, thank you, Coach Sam. I've really got something from your submission. And I appreciate it. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Okay. So do we have any other question? Or comment? As, uh, as uh, any of that comes, I would just love to you to, um, you know, there's, there's a power in remembrance. When you sometimes write something down, uh, there's something that... Uh, there's something that you you better you're better than somebody who has not written down. Now I want just you to type in the chat box what is what is that one thing that you, you've taken away from this session and what are you going to do exactly? Okay. What is that one thing that you've you've taken away from the session that you're going to apply to your life, that you're going to apply to your passion? Let, let that just be a personal reflection for you. Uh, for us, even as you put this down. 
And sometimes you see, like I talked of, of commitment, like I said, uh, Adrian, about commitment. Whenever you write something down and whenever you tell it to two or more people, you even feel, you feel indebted. Today, I want to tell you that uh, there's a time when I said I'm going to, to be going online to let's say live sessions on Facebook for the next 10 days. I actually found myself inclined there that even when in times I felt like not going, I remember that there are, there are people that are informed that I will actually be going. So there's, there's, there's power in that. Even when you're writing an article, I, I usually do challenges. I'm, I say I'm going to be writing, let's say, 29 articles around the subject. Even if I hit only 8 or 10 or 11, I know I've done a stretch. So in the same way, I would love to hear from what we have, we've, we've tried to go through. There are many things that we've gone through here. What is that one thing that you've taken away and you're going to apply to your, to, 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 to your passion, to your, to your life? What is that one? What is your takeaway from this session? I would love to, to know that. And that also, that's also feedback for me to know that uh, you've been able to uh, pick out uh, something out of this and it's something that you're going to apply, okay? So let's just use the chat box to just type something that we, we, have, we, we have done. So Caroline says she'll find a coach or a mentor. So thank you so much, Caroline. And uh, since you're into the area of counseling and so on, helping people, yeah, continuously finds people who are in the same line, who can be your mentor. And like I said, your mentor may not be somebody whom you might hire, let's say immediately, but understudy them, be part of their programs, pay for, buy their book, uh, go look out for them online, study them, go to their website, read their literature. That alone is a, is a mentorship in its own, okay? But also continuously find people who, um, who are helping you become a much better, okay? So that is Caroline. I would love to hear from other people on what, uh, what they also think they will be doing. So Adrian says uh, that... Yes, you're saying something, Edwin? Sam, um, um, I, I have another issue. Please. In my life, I have seen the idea of coaching and mentors work wonders for me and making me become a better person. And uh, But challenges in this country, I don't have ideas of how I can meet reliable people to seek counsel from. For example, I've been trying to seek mentorship in uh, early dating and marriage. But then I, I can't find relevant people or counselors. When I find somebody who, who may be worth it, my idea is to find is make some kind of audience and ask them like, what's the kind of profile? How can I, how can, how can I trust you as a, as, a, as a reliable service provider? And most of them just get pissed off and say, what? if you can't trust me, why coming to me, you get So my idea is how can I be able to outsource the right features and coaches for my particular areas of life. You know, my writing, learn more, more, I become, see, see how I can become a better accountant. But then the challenge is, how can I find those coaches who can lead me through my thoughts and my, my passion and endeavors? How can I outsource for them? I have challenges in, the, in that department. Oh, I have to find them, uh, something of the sort. That's my question. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Adrian. Uh, I think for me, what has really worked for me is um, I'm a person who is very common on Facebook. So, and I do a lot of, I do a lot of search, even me just going on YouTube and trying to search uh, about at an, an aspect, you're able to get a feed of different people who are speaking about a subject. When, when you search, let's say through Google, you're able to find uh, some options of people that they, they, they share with you. And before you hire a mentor, one of the things I want to tell you is that try to find out more about them, find about their content, find about what they do, find about their profiles, even you can find this. One of the things that I you will do, for example, today, if you want to know about Coach Samuel, if you just go to Google and put Coach Samuel Ivanda, you'll be able to get a lot of information about the work that I've done and certain things that I've also been able to do. But also, don't limit yourself, by the way, to only, let's say, to your only your your community or on, even only Uganda. I want to tell you that actually, um, I would say that about 60% of my mentors are not Ugandans, okay? And I think, uh, Edwin, you, you know, I uh, added you to one of uh, the Facebook groups, a Nigeria Facebook group. And uh, one of the guys that runs that Facebook group is actually my mentor. I have actually paid money to be part of his trainings and to be part of his sessions. 
And some of these payments, I sometimes make them through even credit card. Now, one of the things that I've come to realize is that sometimes even when you're afraid to invest your, something in, in, in how to better yourself, you find that you not get the results. And even when you, you also want to charge other people, you not even have the confidence to charge them, okay? So for me, that is what basically helps me. I look out for people on Facebook. I understand them. I, by the time I really pay for a training from such an individual, I have all the kind of confidence. Of course, yes, uh, when you reach out to somebody and you're asking for their profile and so on, especially for a coaching program, some people will be a bit hesitant to do that. But such a person can have a website. And most, in most cases, you'll find that either they have a website. Such a person would, maybe, would have made, let's say, been invited, let's say, for a, a webinar or whatever, and maybe it was uploaded on YouTube. So you can find more about them. Okay, so that's what I can basically say. But also, uh, yeah, there are many people. You can also look for recommendations. For example, you are somebody who is into dating and so on. There are coaches around Uganda who are doing such, okay? And maybe uh, uh, I can be able to share maybe a contact or one. Usually when you're into a certain space, you also know certain other people that are doing something very similar. So look out for recommendations. You can be able to find those. If it's an accounting, you can also find people who are also in that kind of area who are passionate. One of the things that I've also come to realize is the coaching business is not, is not very common in Uganda. It's actually a developing industry. And I want to tell you that if you join, if you join it at a time like this, you actually you better positions because with the online space, many people are looking out for self-education. By the one of the most growing industries is the aspect of self-education. And many people are, especially abroad, are making a lot of money out of it. So that's why I'm saying don't confine yourself to only the local market, expand your horizons and see how you can be able to. Find. Of course, there are certain aspects that you cannot easily, you want somebody who can speak of the perspectives or that are locally, if that is that, and you can also find such people. Google them, Google is your first uh, aspect. The other aspect is recommendation. Just like the way you're a coach, there are other people also who would recommend Adrian to other people because they have heard from you, just like the way we have heard from you here as a career coach. So I think that is how the game plays, okay? So thank you so much. And as well as for your comment on to what you'll be doing, you said you'll be uh, you'll be pre-planning your content. Yeah, Facebook uh, Facebook and um, has what we call scheduling. You can use what we call it's called uh, business. I need I need I need to find out more. But Facebook business does scheduling. Okay, so you can learn more about that, and then also reading more of the articles to help you generate more content. So Patrickson said, if there's something you're doing, regardless of how small it is, no one is seeing you, keep doing it. So that is what Patrickson has really uh, gotten from it. So he has been inspired to continue doing whatever he's doing. Kagoya says, become skilled and get feedback to improve every day. Wonderful. That's very important. Mustafa says, it's always important. You master the art of finding out your passion and leveraging it for business opportunities. Yes, it's not just about finding the passion, but finding better ways of how to monetize. Thank you so much guys uh, for the comments and being able to at least share something of uh, what you, you take away. So Juliet says to expand my mindset by creating a community of potential buyers and transforming them into buyers. That is what she wants to focus. She wants to focus on family members. Awesome, awesome. And you see, for Juliet, uh, I want to tell you that uh, somebody can even create, uh, let's say, a family and be able to share even content about, let's say, uh, having good families and so on. But at the end of the day, there is, is to collect those people into a community and be able to help them even in the aspects of, let's say, maybe your life insurance and so on. But at the end of the day, you know that these are your potential people. These are people who will be able to buy from you. Okay. So that is wonderful of you. And I would love to see everyone create a community. You know, when you have a community, people who follow you, people whom you have in WhatsApp groups or people whom you have in Facebook groups and so on, those people are the, your go-to people when you, when you want to sell anything. You don't have to advertise and struggle to find clients. You already have people who believe in you, people who are willing to pay a, a, a coin to acquire the knowledge that you're providing, okay? 
So this is says understanding and identifying your passions and knowing that it's knowing that more than one passion is not conflicting loyalty. Yeah, that is uh, very wonderful for you, Daisy. So thank you so much, uh, guys, for sharing. Uh, it, it is really, it's really good to, to learn more about what you're going to basically do after this. You know, like we're saying, it's not about just coming here. You guys have spent a lot of money on this program. And at the end of the day, I want you to benefit from it. I don't want you to just get this knowledge and leave it up at the end of the day. And that's what I'm going to do in the one-on-one -on -one sessions. I want, by the time we meet, we should, you should have action points that we are going to reflect on and we're going to strategize on and also see how um, I'm able to hold you more accountable. Some of these things I'm going to ask you, uh, Juliet, you spoke, you spoke of a community, where is the community? Okay, I'm a family member, I would also love to be part of such community. So please add me to the communities. I would love to, to, to see that my people grow and I'll be able to also, yeah, be able to share. If I have people around me that would benefit from your community, I'll be able to recommend them and say, Juliet is actually doing this. And if you join her community, she's very passionate about this area. We would learn more about uh, this subject, okay? So let's do the networking. You can even share uh, these links on the WhatsApp group where we are member too. I know this is not just uh, a learning platform, but it's also a networking platform as well. Let's share more about the things that we are doing and let's see how we can see how we can share benefit from each other, recommend each other to different other people and grow. That is by the that is how how life grows. That's how we grow in life. We grow in life because of contacts, because of networks. Okay. So for me, that that alone is something that I really don't take for granted. And I really want to appreciate uh all that has been shared, okay? And uh, you putting aside a few of your time to be basically come here and be, be able to learn. So thank you so much. And uh, I wish you all the best. And like I said, I'm going to be able to share with you my schedule so that we can, you can be able to uh, create some appointments. We can create some appointments. There will also be Zoom, Zoom appointments where we shall do a one-on-one. -on -one. So for whatever we have gone through, uh, just make sure that you you try to reflect about your life, try to lay down, write down what exactly you'll be doing going forward and uh, what areas you may need support in and also aspects of, uh, also you can also put timelines by the way, in terms of you want to do this maybe by the end of December or by the end of uh, November or by the end of two weeks from now or by January 1st, okay? Let's put timelines. Now, when you put timelines, you also help me to be able to put it, put it in my reminder to check on you and say, yes, there is, we agree that uh, first you're going to do this, where is it? And that's what a coach does, okay? I want to basically hold you accountable and see that you be able to basically succeed along this journey, okay? Yeah. So thank you so much. And uh, I wish you all the best. In case you have any other questions that may come through the week, please feel free to post them on the WhatsApp group and I'll be able to respond to them. And uh, yes, in case you feel this program is also very important, feel free to also recommend to other people. Like I said, recommendations also make the magic and uh, mine will be able to be able to support those other people as it's something that I'm very passionate about. So thank you so much. And uh, I wish you the best into your journey of leveraging onto your passion. So I would love to end the session here and wish you all the best. So thank you guys. Thank you, Patrickson. And uh, have the best of the rest of the evening or the morning or the day for those that are watching this, okay? Daisy says it was wonderful. Thanks guys. It was wonderful for me as well to also learn more about your passion and also be here for this evening. What a Friday evening, okay? Yeah, with wonderful people.